nobody fucking with me, nigga. Unit crew, it's your girl. Anywho, coming on today, I did find some shower curtains and I did find some towels, boo. But you know your girl gotta scratch these videos, so it is with this. So the first one we're going to get started with is my towels. Now I found like the little hand towels. I got my same image I'm going to use. So I don't know what size to really do on the towels. I think I'm gonna do. Look at them. Like two pages should do it. One, one actually might. I don't know, but I kind of want to be, so I'm just going to split it in half. Let me get my, uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google, find an image of your choice, come back to your Cricut Design Space, you're going to push Upload, and you're going to go to Browser, and you're going to pick your image, you're going to bring it back to your Cricut Design Space, and you're going to click all the white spots which will be your background or your wording, whatever, whatever. So if you need a lesson on that, I will do that some other time. But anywho, I got this up already. This is the image of my choice, boo. And I'm going to put a shape, which is I'm just going to pick a little square. And I'm going to slice my image in half because I only have a uh, 8 by 11 print printer. And I have to piece my images together in order to get my image big. So yeah, I ain't got like y'all with the big printers or whatever. So I'm going to put my shape over my image, unlock my box, drag it to the middle, drag down, and then uh, make sure I got it in half. It looks like half, right? Let me see. Look at half a nose. Okay, so that looks like it by half. If not, it is what it is. So we're gonna draw a box over everything. Make sure everything is inside that blue box, including my box that I put on top. And we're gonna slice. So slice is over here to the right bottom corner. We're gonna slice it real good. All right, so now we're just gonna remove this here because we don't need that boo. We're gonna remove this here. Oh shit, did I remove everything? Wait a minute. I'm just gonna click on that little gray box because we ain't need that. Now, see, I gotta fuck some shit up. Now, I gotta put a bag. Hold on, stay with me for some of y'all. Let me put a bag. Let me put a bag. Let me put a bag. Okay. Okay. I just I just want this this gone. Okay, y'all. Hopefully, they mess nothing up. Even though it's sliced, I don't want it to be messed up. I don't want it. I want it to be perfect. I think that's. Is that right? Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure it's right. Anywho, it looks different on my phone. So, um, I got it sliced out. What I'm going to do now is highlight a box over both images. The box is locked, so that's a good thing. I ain't got to lock it. And I'm just going to kind of play with it into over here. You see my arrow? My little arrow. Look at my arrow. Right here on the right. Right here, baby. Over here on the right. Look right here. You see me? Okay. You see right here? I'm gonna keep dragging until this thing put up like a little corn, like a little, little warning sign. And that's all I know how to do to measure everything. So just bear with me. Make my screen a little small for y'all to see. So I'm, oh, oh, there you go. Over here. Over here. Look, look on the right. Right here. You see it? You see? I know you damn well you see that little hand pointing on this little triangle. Okay, yeah, right there. Right here to the right. On the right hand of the screen, man. Okay. So right here, this is my warning sign. Let me know my image is too big to be printed. So I can't get it that big. So we're just going to keep pushing it back in until that little shit disappear. Oh, it didn't go nowhere. Didn't go nowhere. Didn't go nowhere. Did it go anywhere? Damn, I'm getting cricket tripping. Okay. Still trying to inch it. Get a little inch. A little inch. Okay, let's see if we drag it down or something. 
Let's see. We're gonna unlock the box and then we're gonna drag it. Mm, can't do that either. Tripping. Okay, we got it. Um, okay. Look, pay attention because you're not listening to me, goddammit. You see my little arrow? Right here. <laughs> it's on the top now. Look look up here. Okay, you see it? The little white arrow. Okay, right here it say width. That means how long it is. So the W is how long. The, write this shit down because I'm not going to say it again. I don't need y'all in my comments. Okay, so it's 8.5 something 7 width. And then your height will be 9.131 shit. I don't know. However you say it. But that's how big it's going to be. Then we're just going to roll with it. Now, remind you, this is split in half. So it's going to print out on two different sheets. Okay, now before we print it, we need to uh, flip the image horizontal. So up here, god damn, you don't pay attention. Up here, right here, just move over to the left side. Right here, you see it? Where it say flip, you see my, the love, the white arrow. Okay, yeah, right there. So, say flip, right? You see it? Push the little arrow and push horizontal. Simple. Oh, shit, no. Not so simple, huh? Yes, it was. It was still simple. All right. So, now the wording is backwards because we're going to be doing sublimation. For those that don't know, you got to have a sublimation printer. You don't have to. Now, you don't have to flip it if you was doing just regular print like with a vinyl or iron-on um, technique. If you were doing a dark transfer iron-on on a shower curtain cloth-wise, not plastic for some of y'all. It will work so you do not have to flip it if you're doing a HTV printable iron on you don't have to flip it if you're doing dark iron on transfer paper if that makes sense if it's over your head for some of y'all I'll try to do better and do a better video for you but right now for the ones that know what the hell I'm talking about yeah that's what you can do but for the ones who have a sublimation printer you always have to flip your image horizontal don't be like me and fuck up every now and then. So we're going to get started. We got the image horizontal. We got our sizing, which is the 8 width, 9 height, all that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and we're going to print it on that. Boo -boo. We're doing tiles now, so don't get that messed up. So we just go to make it. And this is what it looks like. And I feel like I can get so much more in this motherfucker tripping though. Because look at it. It got half of my paper. So y'all know how y'all girl is. I be wanting all my shit. I be excuse my language. Let me, let me cut it out. My sister be watching my channel. My sister, I cuss too much. So I'm going to try to go back, and I know y'all seen it too. It did say it too, like you know, we couldn't do all that, but sometimes you can. I'm gonna try anyway. I like to try. I like to try. I like to try. Try to push it over to that line. Look at that. Emo. No, they be lying. They need y'all see the arrow. Just like I seen that arrow. We gonna keep pulling that bit. We're going to keep pulling that bit to come on down. The damn phone, though. Excuse my phone, y'all. I'm going to try to pull it to the air. Okay. We we scratched it. We don't want to look at all wopsided and everything. You know what I mean? We scratched our ass out pretty good. We don't want to look ugly. You know what I mean? So, we just going to roll with that right there. And I feel like I should have sliced up. Head wise to get her like long, but ain't nobody got time for all that. So I'm just gonna just make it do what it do. I don't even fuck with it no more. All right, that good enough right there, though, folks. You know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to continue, right? Continue. I know you can read. Continue is down here at the right bottom screen. Now I might not pronounce everything, but damn, I know what continue look like right here. Follow okay, you see the hand? See my arrow? Come on down, come on down, right here. Big A green bus that continue. Push it now. Okay, good job. I'm proud of you. Okay. So yeah, we just waiting on that to load real quick, like you know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send it to the printer. I'm a little lit though. And we're going to turn our bleed off because we ain't nobody got time for that. Anybody got time to be wasting no money. And I got an Epson Eco Tank 2720 um, sublimation printer. So that's what I'm using. So I have to find my printer. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to the printer. And I'm just going to print. Voila. 
So yes, hunty. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print that out, boo boo, and um, I'm going to record it coming out the of the printer, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do this damn thing. Y'all stay, stay tuned, boo boo kiddies. Okay, crew. So your girl got a towel. I got this towel from um, Roses. Am I saying it right? Roses, Roses, whatever it is. Um. And I think I paid no more than like a dollar. I got two of them. But I'm only going to do one on camera. So. I think y'all call these like hand towels or something like that. I guess it is what it is. So it is not all the way white as I would like it to be. It's like a cream color. So I'm just going to use this underneath the heat press. And we'll do that in a second. First we have to do... Our image. So, you know, we just got through slicing it. So now we just got to cut it in half and all that good stuff. And I know a lot of people be like, why you just want to buy a bigger printer? First of all, I don't got bigger printer money. And I don't have a bigger printer space or light bill money because it's going to run you some money. Plus the heat press that comes with like that type of material you got to do. I would love to have a big um, printer like this one man. He he does amazing work. I forgot his name, but I tried to tell y'all one time about him. But I know he in a lot of these groups, and uh, he's an older guy. He's from Tupelo, Mississippi, and he's amazing. I swear he is. But um, I looked at a couple of printers online. Uh, the print real big but one day I ain't gonna say never but our goal is to get that so I'm gonna claim it but right now we just gonna work with what we got and thank God for it so this is my image and I'm going to tape it together I'm going to use some painters tape to tape it together and I am using regular copy paper. Because like I said, anytime I'm practicing, if it's not an order that somebody's paying me for, I do not use my sublimation paper because I don't have the money to play with. I messed around today and I was doing an order. And I messed around and put the damn sublimation paper in my regular printer. Girl, I'm talking about somebody was mad. I done wasted a whole sheet. Y'all already know your girl about to find something to glue it on or something. Because I'm like, baby, that's a lot. I can't take it. So, anywho, this is what she's looking like. Ain't she beautiful? I'm getting pretty good, y'all, piecing this stuff together. After a while, I might be able to do all over shirts. So, I just cut the excess tape. I got painter's tape from Dollar Tree. So, I made it to 4,000 subscribers. The way to tell if anybody is really watching this video, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. And if y'all write in my community after I ask y'all what my secret is, you might win a little something, something. So, I will pick somebody random out of the comments. I'll write everybody's name down that wrote something that, you know, actually paid attention. I'll probably, y'all know how my giveaways be. I'll probably end up doing damn near five. But... My secret is, let me think of something. What should I say, Doody? She ain't no better than me. She said, uh, we can't think of it. By the time we get through pressing this damn towel, I guess we'll think of something. So let's take it over to the heat press. I'm gonna uh, write it. She. I don't know, boo, but I got my little flash on. Hopefully, y'all can see. So, we're just going to put our towel down. And I'm only going to put it on one end, so I don't need all of the heat. It. So, yeah. I can't find my tracing paper. Y'all know your girl always losing stuff, and I ain't never got nothing in, in the spot where I needed it. But I usually... Oh, I see it. I see it. Hold on. Okay, look at that. He's always on time. Is he not? This is what I usually, I uh, can't talk usually, and I still probably said it right, but usually use um, to cover 
my sublimation images because it's some tracing paper, it looks like baking paper, parchment paper, whatever everybody be using. It's the same thing. To me it is anyway. It looks like it and it works just fine. So hey, save a little money. I work at Michael's. So, you know what I mean? When they had a little 70% off sale on the um, drawing tablets and all that good stuff, my baby like to draw. So, uh, And they got a booklet where you can get three in a pack. The tracing paper comes with it, baby. I already got it. You know what I mean? So we're just going to press the little moisture out of it. And a lot of ways to tell if you got a lot of moisture in your material, it'll start smoking. I don't see no smoke. So we should be good to go. But some people say the longer you press, the better it be. And I, um, I thought I would get everything situated. I decided on maybe I should keep the shower curtain and all that good stuff. Because I do need one. <laughs> and I done, you know what I mean. I got a rug too, baby. So stay tuned for that video. Okay. I'm going to do a rug. I, this is my tile video. And then I'm going to do the shower curtain boo. And I got 100% polyester material. So it's going to be sublimation. So y'all stay tuned for that. So I'm going to let this press for at least 60 seconds or whatever. And we'll come back, boo. Okay, best unit crew. We're going to see what it do. Oh, hell no. Nah. She like, duh, duh, y'all. It's all right, you know what I mean? But I guess because of the material. But she owned y'all, you know what I mean? She owned y'all and everything. But she ain't like I thought she was going to be. Maybe because I did not use my, what you call it? Um, sublimation paper. But she is still pretty. The camera is not doing her no justice. But yeah, she's on there. It's pretty cool. I like this image. I don't know who you is, whoever made her look like this. Because, I mean, she's all over the internet in different colors or whatever. But whoever did this, you the bomb .com. But Yes, hunter. This is what she's looking like. So, stay tuned for my next video. Make sure y'all catch up on my old videos. Because there's a lot of y'all sleeping on a nigga. And a lot of y'all be... Asking questions I already answered 15,000 times in the way I'm side up. My mouth is reckless and I be trying not to be because I appreciate the support. But damn, come on now. I might not can pronounce everything and I might sound a little slow with a lot of things, but I'm not. Come on with it. Let's get it. Sorry. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that fucking bell, nigga. When you subscribe, make sure you push off if you won't miss the notification. Your girl lit tonight. Let's get it. It's Friday, baby. Everybody got them checks. You're good. Been over here working. And I squeezed the video in for you. So, my, what you want to call it, my password or not password. We're going to say password. We're going to say my giveaway word will be Team Uni. So, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm going to ask in my community, what was my giveaway word? And only people that really watch my videos are going to know is Team Uni. That's the only ones we're going to fuck with from now on. If you don't make it past Team Uni or to Team Uni, you can kiss my ass. Stop skipping my videos. Y'all have a blessed one.